This is Pioneer's TSWX1010A, and this is Pioneer's TSWX1210A. This is a 10-inch and a 12-inch sealed enclosure self-amplified subwoofer. Each one has its own high-power Class D amplifier built right in. Let's take a look and I'll show you what's in the box. Both of these self-amplified subwoofers have the same accessories in the box. First is the mounting hardware included with each subwoofer. There are two heavy metal mounting brackets uh, and mounting screws to securely mount the woofer in the vehicle. This is the wire harness included with each subwoofer. The yellow wire needs to be extended and connected directly to the vehicle's battery. The black wire here is the ground wire and needs to be connected to metal in the body or the frame of the vehicle. The blue wire is the system remote control lead and needs to be connected to the in-dash receiver either directly or through a relay. And this will switch the subwoofer on when the in-dash receiver is switched on. Here is the signal input. If you're using RCA connections directly from an in-dash receiver, just plug your RCAs in right here. If you're using speaker level inputs, cut off these RCA connections and make the speaker level connections through these same wires. Here is the base level knob. You can see it's very slim and can be easily mounted under the dash without worry of banging your knee against it when you move in and out of the vehicle. And mounting screws are included in the hardware pack. The base level knob connects to the subwoofer amplifier through this cable. This cable is about 18 feet long or so for very flexible installation. And here is the owner's manual and the warranty card. The innovative trapezoid shape of the enclosures is designed for high rigidity and to reduce internal standing waves, while also increasing installation flexibility. These subs can be installed freely in the cabin, uh, under the seats, or repositioned with the subwoofer firing toward the rear of the vehicle, or toward the front of the vehicle, or lying on its back and pointing up. Whatever works best for you in your vehicle with your favorite music. The enclosure is fully carpeted, creating a non-slip and very durable and scratch-resistant surface. Let's take a look at the amplifier and control panel. Now, this is the same on both the 10 and the 12 inch subs. This is the gain control. Use this control to match up with the output of your in-dash receiver. This is the crossover frequency selector. The amplifier has its own LPF or low pass filter built in. This means that only low frequencies will be played back by the subwoofer. Choose the crossover frequency that works best for your music. This is the bass boost level, and you can set this from 0 to 12 dB. Now this can also be controlled by the wired remote bass level knob that can be mounted remotely in the vehicle. This is the bass boost frequency adjustment. Choose between 40 and 100 Hz for the best effect for your favorite style of music. The white plug here is the system wire harness. Plug in the power, the ground, and system control and signal input here. And this is the 20 amp fuse here at the amplifier. This is the input signal selector. The sub can operate on either RCA level input with a direct connection to the in-dash receiver or with speaker level input. Set this switch according to your particular installation. This is the phase control switch. Now it can be set to either normal or reverse phase. Try both of these settings in your vehicle. Depending on several factors, including subwoofer placement in the vehicle, one of these settings may sound significantly better than the other. And choose the one that works best for you. If you choose to use it, the wired base level knob connection cable will plug in right here. And here is the power indicator. The indicator will light up when the system is switched on. This is the TSWX1010A. This is a 10-inch sealed enclosure subwoofer with a built-in Class D amplifier. The amp has 1100 watt max output power and 300 watts nominal output power. The system features a unique trapezoid shape for rigidity and to reduce internal standing waves. The box measures 17 and 3 quarters by 9 and 3 eighths by 13 and a quarter. 
It can operate with RCA or speaker level input. And a remote bass knob is included. This is the TSWX1210A. This is a 12 inch sealed enclosure subwoofer with a built in Class D amplifier. The amplifier has 1300 watts max power output and 350 watt nominal output power. The system features a unique trapezoid shape for rigidity and to reduce internal standing waves. The box measures 20 and 3 quarters by 11 by 15. It can operate with RCA or speaker level input and a remote bass knob is included. And that is Pioneer's TSWX1210A and TSWX1010A, sealed enclosure, self-amplified subwoofers, and what's in the box.